Hello everyone, this is Jaime from Pocketnow.com, and even though recently we had our software and user experience tour of the Sony Xperia S, it turns out that Sony has just launched their PlayStation Store, and well, so far sadly it only works for the Xperia S. Any of you users of the Xperia Play will just have to wait, but let's talk about it. Now when Sony said that they were going to make their phones PlayStation certified, I didn't think they'd take that literal because they didn't say PlayStation 2 certified or PlayStation 3 certified or PSP, they said PlayStation. And PlayStations back from 1995, 96, I think some of you weren't even born back then and the problem is that these games are obviously, they were good games for most of us back then, but they're not really optimized for 720p resolution display. Back then what we had were TVs, you know, usual TVs, the typical cathode boxes, not the ones that we see now with 720p or 1080p resolutions. So obviously games back then weren't optimized for what we have now, but still, it's what we got. The way this works is fairly simple and straightforward. You go into your application tray and then you have this icon at the top that tells you, let's start the PS Store. You go in there, and once you launch it, you get an information about the phones that are being supported currently trying to zoom in here, it only supports the Xperia Arc, Xperia Arco, the Xperia Play and the Xperia NX and Arco HD in Japan, and then in the United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, and Australia, the Xperia S. Now, I got these, this Xperia S in Barcelona, so that's why it's still working, even though I'm in Honduras right now, or I could probably be in the United States. So you have to download these two applications. One is 1.07 megabytes, which is the PlayStation Pocket, which is pretty much the launcher, and then you have the PlayStation Store. Start with the store and then you start with the pocket. Once these are downloaded, you go again to your application tray and you get these two applications installed. The PS Store and the PS Pocket as mentioned. Within the PS Store, you have to log on to your information, so I'm signing in. You have to create a Sony Online Store account for this to work and obviously leave your credit card. Once the store is launched, you'll notice that there are 16 titles and that these 16 titles all cost $6. Now the interesting part here is if you go into any of these titles, try to move to the bottom, you'll notice this is $19.95. Let's go back to uh, Hotshot Golf, see where that's from. 2000. These are not new games and the only reason why I chose for example Warhawk is because I remember this game was published in 2007 for the PlayStation 3 as it mentions there but the problem is this is the original Sony PlayStation version of Warhawk so my biggest disappointment with this service is that obviously once you buy and by the way it only works in landscape let's start the PS Pocket this is Warhawk that I just purchased and Let's play, let's start a new game, and you'll notice that everything here is from back in the old days. Hopefully you guys remember. That's right, the old PlayStation way to launch. Let's get this playing. You get the typical controls. And then look at this. This is a four by three aspect ratio. Let me try to put the volume down a little bit. This is a four by three aspect ratio because obviously it was optimized for the TVs of back in 1995. It's not optimized for a 720p resolution display. And therefore, you'll notice that the graphics in the game are quite choppy. So let's move away from this demo. Let's 1995 Sony Interactive, even though it says 2007. So. Let's launch a mission. Sadly, oh, touch controls don't work, so. Only the buttons that are on the side. You'll notice that the graphics are grainy, choppy, old, and four by three. So let's start this game. Find and retrieve this canister. Okay, let's start playing. Notice all the choppiness in the game. Obviously, this is a 1995 game, and even though it's got all the... <laughs> Sorry about that. Even though it's got all the nine yards of a typical game from the old days, well, it's not optimized for this display. Obviously, I tried to use it on the Xperia Play because it's got lower resolution than this, but sadly, it's still not working. It's still not available. Let me try to get a lock here. 
lock. Let's see. So, again, if you were born back in the 1980s and, had, and owned an original PlayStation, this is definitely a treat for you, at least for the 16 titles that are there. But would I play six bucks for this? Um, honestly, I'd tell you no. I'd definitely not pay six bucks for this. Now, I know this is going to be a very rude comparison for Sony, but how about if we try a typical game in the Android market? This is Dead Space from EA, and this cost me 50 cents a couple of days ago that was on sale in the play Google Play Store and let's just see how let's just compare I mean look at the pixel density look at the quality look at the detail this is a game from now that's obviously not optimized for a game console it's optimized for a computer and the and the portable you know phone tablet but look at the detail let's see if I could skip this Let's go to play. Have a look at the detail in the graphics. Probably this is not like the best game in the world. Obviously there are other options out there, but if we would compare this for 50 cents, or I could even pay the 10 bucks that it costs whenever it's not on sale, but compare this to the Sony PlayStation games. I mean, if Sony would have said PlayStation 3 or even PSP, even though PSP has a terrible resolution in comparison to what this phone has, I would have probably said, sure, why not? But I would definitely not recommend that you pay the $6 for any of the old games unless you definitely come from the old school gamers that want to have those old games from the past. Currently, the PlayStation Store is pretty much just an emulator that plays ROMs from old school that you could probably even get on the Android market on your own. So, is it worth paying? Not really sure I'd recommend. So, that's it for our hands-on tour of the Sony PlayStation Store for Xperia devices. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.